Hey everybody, it's your boy Z-Man, welcoming you back to part 30 of our Pokemon Black Let's Play. In the last part, we did in fact defeat the Driftville City Gym Leader, Clay, in an epic battle. And when I say epic battle, I mean I kicked his ass in only four turns. I know. Impressive. Now, uh, Clay told us to go to Route 6 and go meet him down there, but, you know, Clay is terrible. Why, sh why should we listen to Clay? He couldn't even last five turns in a battle with me. So we're not even going to listen to him. Forget him. We've got some stuff we can do in Driftville City anyway. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into this market right here. One of the only markets in the Univer region. And first we're going to talk to this guy. You. Glad you came. You want something good? Oh, sure I do. Then show me a Pokemon level 30 or more. Oh, strong, because we do have a level 30 Pokemon. You, great, take this. And he gives us the ex Expert Belt. Now the Expert Belt is uh, an item that you can equip to one of your Pokemon. It boosts the power of super effective moves by 20%. Uh, this power-up isn't exactly an amazing power-up. Isn't exactly an amazing item to have equipped. Because super effective moves are already very strong, and most of them are going to do a one-hit KO, so the extra 20% doesn't do much. Now, if you come down here, there's a hidden item right here. This is the heart scale. Uh, there's another heart scale that you can find. We're going to be going over that a little bit later, but there's another heart scale. If you talk to these two people, there are, medic there are medicinal herbs that make Pokemon healthy. Welcome. May I help you? These guys sell medicinal herbs. For example, heal power... Powder, Energy Powder, Energy Root, and Revival Herb. All these items uh, either recover HP or heal your item of status problems. But the problem is that they are very bitter pa medicine powders. It says right there in the description. They are very bitter. Uh, if you give them to a Pokemon, I'm pretty sure the Pokemon uh, starts to like you less because they don't like the taste of it. So it's not exactly the best thing to give to your Pokemon. I'd rather just stick with Hyper Potions and uh, Potions and all that good stuff and full restores. Uh, just rather do that stuff. But if you come up here, you can talk to this lady. Welcome! This is straight from the farm. Moo Moo Milk. One bottle for $500. Why yes, I will buy one dozen bottles of your finest Moo Moo Milk. Uh, Moo Moo Milk is just like fresh water, just like soda pops, just like lemonades. They Restore HP of some of your item, of some of your Pokemon. Um, not much to say about that, other than figure out how to buy them. Might as well. Now, there's one more thing you can do in that market if you want to come all the way around and over here. You can come into this little secret section back here that you can only get to by going this way. And there's an item down here. This is a big pearl. Uh, there's big pearls and small pearls in the game. Big pearls, I'm pretty sure, can be sold to, like, some sort of collector. I, I'm, I'm not sure about this, but I'm pretty sure there's, like, a collector or something that will buy these for a huge price. But if not, you can just sell them to any old Poke, Pokemart for a very, very nice and handsome price right there. You get lots of money for that. Um, now we're going to come into this house right here. If you talk to this lady, right there, talk to her. I am grateful that you came all this way. Are you a trainer? Ooh, you have a Pokedex. It's so marvelous. I wonder if you could do a favor for me. If I can help. I would like to see a Pokemon that has learned the move called Attract. So this lady wants you to show her a Pokemon that knows a certain move that she asked for. And you only have one day to do this, so uh, get it done within the first day. But she wants to see the move attract. I don't have any Pokemon that know the move attract, so there's no point to doing this. But if you do show her the move that she wants to see, you get a heart scale for it. Um, can be helpful if you have some Pokemon that you want them to re relearn some moves, which I always seem to have happen, and I'm never quite ready for it. Alright. This house right here, there's nothing in that house. If we come over to this house, however, there's these two people. This guy right here is a move tutor. He will teach your po your starter Pokemon, only your starter Pokemon. He will teach them either Fire Pledge if you picked Tepig, Water Pledge if you picked Oshawott, or if you pick Snivy like me, he'll teach you Grass Pledge. Your Pokemon does have to be happy enough, however. So if you don't have a happy starter Pokemon by now, you're probably a really bad trainer, but it doesn't matter. 
You can teach it that move. Uh, these moves are especially powerful in combinations with each other. I don't really want to get that move, so we can just move on. If we come to this house right here, there's two people in here. This boy right here, he wants to give you a Basculin for his... No. He wants... Yeah, he wants to give you his Basculin if you give him a Mincino. I don't like this trade. Basculins are not very, very uh, powerful Pokemon. I'd rather have a Mincino. Not that I'm even going to get one anyway, so no real point. And then this guy over here. Hahu, you have a Pokedex. How many Pokemon have you found? Hoo-ha, you found 50 or more. Now we're talking. This is for you. And he gives us the Shell Bell. Now uh, the Shell Bell is an item that you can get for if you... Uh, da -da -da. I can't even talk right, right now. But you get a Shell Bell for this. A Pokemon holding a Shell Bell recovers its HP a little different if it inflicts damage during a battle. So if you've seen more than 50 Pokemon, or 50 or more Pokemon, you can get this Shell Bell. Luckily, I checked this. I have exactly 50 Pokemon. I've seen exactly 50 Pokemon, so we got lucky there. I didn't have to go and try to find some other Pokemon to check out. Uh, I don't think there's anything else that we can even do here. We can get on our bicycle, however. And no. Go on the bicycle and turn on the dosing machine. There we go. That guy down there doesn't do anything. There is a house up here. There's no point to it. Uh, there's just a bunch of people that will tell you stuff about the extra link, with external link, or I don't even I can't remember what it's exactly it's called, but it's basically the Wi-Fi section of the game. Uh, it's located in the middle of the Unova region. All you have to do is go to the extra link, external link on the bottom screen of your DS, go onto the online section, and uh, it will transport you there automatically. So let's just ride off into the sunset and oh. So close. But Bianca showed up. Hey, Bianca. How's it going? Hey, were you at the gym just now? Oh, hey, that's Driftvale Gym's badge. That's the that's Driftvale's gym badge. Oh, that's totally cool. That's amazing. Uh, no, no, no. I can't get distracted by being, being all impressed with your shiny new badge. Bianca... So Bianca is distracted by shiny things, for all you guys that want to get with her. I'm also a trainer. At times like this, you battle, right? Really? You don't know? Why? W I don't want to battle you, Bianca. You're just going to kick your butt, and you're going to get all angry at me. It's not going to be cool. But yes, we do have our next rival battle with Bianca. She only has four Pokemon, although we're only going to be using four Pokemon anyway. Now the first Pokemon she's going to send out is Hurtier, the level 26 Pokemon. It knows the moves Helping Hand, Take Down, Crunch, and Work Up. And it, of course it has the ability Intimidate, which is going to take down your attack. Not like it really matters. Plus we're playing in an environment that it is hailing, so that could be a problem right there. And seriously, I never understand this. How do you avoid a giant tidal wave of mud, mud water? It makes no sense at all. But all of our Pokemon are stronger than Bianca's. Bianca is not a good trainer. Sharon's a much tougher rival to battle, and even him, we can beat the crap out of him anyway. He's going to use one more takedown. This shouldn't do too much, and it's going to hurt him even more than it hurts us. And here comes the hail. One bubble beam should take care of Hurtier, and she has a hyper potion. Why do I not think of these things? Unbelievable. So we use bubble beam, and Hurtier is going to use takedown probably. We're gonna get hit by the hail and we're... This isn't good guys. I'm actually gonna lose a Pokemon in a battle against Bianca. Can you believe that? How bad of a person do you have to... How, ma... How bad of a trainer do you have to be? But we did defeat Bianca. We're gonna get some experience for it. Mort's buffeted by some more hail. She's gonna send out her Duat, which means that we want to switch to Cav, because uh, her Duat is of course a water type Pokemon. Our Duat is our strongest Pokemon. It is at level 28. It knows the moves Razor Shell, Fury Cutter, uh, Revenge, and Water Pulse. I'm pretty sure she had this on last time anyway, but uh, she does have the move Fury Cutter on there, which is a bug type move. So if we send out our grass type Pokemon like Cav, it uh, move like Fury Cutter is stronger. Is 
super effective against grass types, so you might want to watch out for that. And we're confused. Yes, Water Pulse does confuse you, although it's not going to do much to you anyway. We're just going to get Duat. We're just going to take down Duat by making it get hurt, buffeted by the hail, and I don't want to be confused anymore. Why am I so confused? And here comes another Water Pulse. It's not like, it, not like she can confuse us extra much. That did more damage than I expected it to. We're going to get buffeted by hail. One more time. Let's throw down a Mega Drain. Let's get some... Let's get some HP from this Duot. Hopefully we can do this and... Yes, okay, we didn't hurt ourselves in Confusion this time, luckily. I hate Confusion so much, but we are going to get some HP back. Very nice. Buffeted by some hail. One more Mega Drain. Hopefully this will take care of Duot. Maybe. 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 Oh, you seriously lived that by that much. Well, the hail's going to take him out anyway. It's not like it really matters. It's going to use Water Pulse. Hopefully this does not confuse me because I'd rather use... Oh, she's going to bring on her pants here. What am I thinking? But, of course, Duat is going to be a different Pokemon if you have... If you chose a different starter. Basically, whichever starter you're strong against is going to be the starter that Bianca has. Since I have Cav, I mean, since I, yeah, since I have Snivy, I picked Snivy. Uh, she had a Duat, and we grew to level 30. Very nice. Now she's going to send out her pants here, the fire type monkey. Let's throw Luna out there. Let Luna do some damage. Uh, her pants here is level 26. So you'll notice the moves Yawn, Bite, Flame Burst, and Amnesia. Uh, this Pokemon is going to be the elemental monkey that you your starter is weak against. Since we picked the grass type Pokemon, it's going to be a fire type Pokemon, obviously. Oh, you would use Yawn, you stupid pants here. Whatever. It's no, no problem by me. We're going to get buffeted by some hail. Please get off one more. We're gonna get one more side beam, and she used amnesia. Very smart move. Amnesia increases your special defense by two levels instead of just the one level. It's a good move to have, especially against the psychic type Pokemon, which are strong special attackers. Luna's asleep. Awesome. Let's use. We'll throw it on his Zen headbutt. And hopefully, we'll wake up. And it knows the move bite, which is a dark type move, and is super effective. Oh, stupid pants here. Hopefully I can wait it out. Although, probably not. He's going to use another bite and we're, Luna's going to die. Not yet. Luckily, we're still alive. How do you avoid... How do you avoid it? Oh, okay, we're going to die. Whatever. We'll throw it on our... We'll throw it on our Zen headbutt anyway. He's going to use Flame Burst, which is going to take out Luna. I lost a Pokemon in a rival battle against Bianca. That is pathetic. Pathetic, I say. Okay, let's throw... Let's throw Cav out there. Cav's gonna be faster than this Pansy, right? We'll get, we'll get Cav some extra experience from this. All we have to do is use Slam. Although I probably shouldn't have done that, because, yep, he's going to avoid the attack. And he used Amnesia to help protect against our special attack moves, but we're just gonna, I'm just gonna use Slam anyway, not like it matters. He gets buffeted by the hail. Forget that. Fine whip. Ha! <laughs> whip it. Sorry, I had to make that joke. I don't know why. I just felt the need to. We're gonna need some experience from her hands here. So she's gonna send out Musharna, which is Muna's evolved form. Uh, this is a level 26 Pokemon. It knows the move Defense Curl, Lucky Chance, Psybeam, and Hypnosis. The only thing that I'm worried about right now is that Hypnosis. She only has one actual attacking attacking move, which is Psybeam. And we probably shouldn't be using... Yeah, it's gonna use, she's going to use Defense Curl. Try to get her defense up against us, because I'm going to be switching out to Max, so it's actually a really good idea to try to get your defense up. Smart move by Bianca. We're going to send Mac out there because apparently this Musharna is weak against attacking moves. Even though she is trying to get her defense up. And there comes the, here comes the Psybeam, the only actual attacking stat that she has. This Musharna is really slow, so Mac might just be able to outspeed it. Here comes the Fire Punch. Please take care of Musharna. So close. And she's going to use Defense Curl. 
One Fire Fang could should take care of Musharna, and we'll get some experience from Mac. Mac's probably gonna love grow to level 20, 32. Very nice, very nice indeed. Um, this is kind of bad. Yes, it is. It's it's slightly bad. I'm just gonna. I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it for you, Bianca. It's kind of bad. And how do you avoid a stupid? No, uh, no, nah, yeah. Nah, nah. She avoided a Fire Fang. Uh, Musharna used uh, Lucky Chance, which is a move that increases your chances of getting a critical hit on a move. Not a terrible move to have, or a terrible move to use. Not like it really matters, because that Fire Fang just absolutely destroyed Musharna. Get some experience for that, Get, go to level 32, Mac. Nice, nice, nice. And Cav Gru's gained some experience. We defeated Pokemon Trader Bianca, yay! Not like it's really that impressive, because Bianca's so bad. I mean, she's just a terrible trainer. She should stick to, like, Pokemon contests. She should go do Pokemon contests like Dawn and May. I haven't had a Pokemon battle with you in a while, Z. You've become totally strong, huh? No, you just suck that bad. I'm not that strong, yes. So I don't know how to say it, but I think you're way, too, way tuned in to how your Pokemon feel. Oh, you know what? I want to share this HM with you, Z. I'm going to get HM02 Fly, which is a awesome, awesome HM to have. One of the actually useful HMs. Uh, I actually really, really need to get a Flying-type Pokemon to, to use this HM. I don't have one yet. My papa gave it to me after he tried to make me come home, make me come home that time. I'm sure it's so that I can come home anytime he wants, though. Oh, hey, I have to share this with Sharon, too. See you, Z. Bye bye Oh, Bianca, you are a terrible trainer. But at least we have finished up with that part, and we can now move on to Route 6, which is where that stupid gym leader, Clay, who can't even last five rounds with us, can't... Oh, he's such a bad trainer. But luckily... We are now on Route 6, we can take this on in the next part because this part is getting slightly long. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Be sure to like the video and comment on the video because it helps so much. And subscribe to my channel because I really want you to subscribe to my channel. That should be reason enough. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much for watching again. I will see you in the next part.